Hi, I'm Barbara Vosfine. I'm a circulation assistant at the Kingwood Branch Library, and I'm also a knitaholic. This wasn't always true, but last fall and winter, I began to notice books on knitting coming through on our counter at the library, all sorts of beautiful scarves, hats, sweaters featured on the cover. I began to think that yes, I too could do that. I just needed to have knitting lessons. Well, I had a really hard time finding anyone to teach me how to knit, but at the library, I found the complete idiot's guide to knitting and crocheting. How hard could it be, I figured. I checked out the book, took it home, bought some knitting needles, size 11, the big ones, because they're much easier to work with, some very inexpensive yarn, went home, opened the book, and tried it out. Four months later, I've completed two scarves and one hat that I consider gift worthy. This was a really great project, uh, do it yourself, learn how with this book. We have lots of other books on different crafts. Um, check us out. Hello, I'm Nanny Falcon and I'm a volunteer at the Kingwood Library. Um, the book I'd like to introduce you to today is A Voice in the Wind by Francine Rivers. Francine, for many years, was an inspirational writer. In more recent years, she moved to romance writer. A Voice in the Wind is part one of a trilogy with Echo, an Echo in the Darkness, and As Sure as the Dawn, the other two books. This book, A Voice in the Wind, is moving and powerful. The main tiny character, Hadassah, is strong, yet a woman of patience and love. She is humble, yet central to the entire story. She lived through the last days of Rome, the emperor and his excesses, the lives of the gladiators, the slaves, the pagan temples, while keeping her own religious beliefs intact. This book will entertain both men and women it quite possibly will change your outlook on life and your interactions with others. I'm Jim Johnson. I'm the assistant branch librarian here at the Kingwood Branch Library. wanted to talk about the book Rocket Pen uh, by Craig Nelson, who recently finished this one. Uh, as many people know, this past July, this summer, uh, was marked the 40th anniversary of the uh, landing, Apollo 11 landing on the moon. Uh, many celebrations, many books, many other things were uh, uh, remembered, uh, were brought forth to remember this event. Uh, and this particular one uh, was one notable one because I feel, having read a few different uh, NASA histories or uh, books on rocketry and you know space flight and other things like that, this one seems to be a little more accessible to those who don't have a lot of uh, knowledge. Uh, I've read a few that can get bogged down in technical jargon and just aren't interesting to read. This one is very interesting to read. It takes you all the way from the beginning, uh, even before the beginning, uh, uh, what led up to the events as far as the space race, uh, what led up to the events uh, of landing those, uh, the men, those three men on the moon, uh, Buzz Aldrin, Neil Armstrong, and Michael Collins, uh, and then takes you uh, every step of the way pretty much, uh, even for you know, mishaps uh, that you might not have heard of about the missions and even what it was like to experience you know, actually being on the moon. Uh, you see a little bit of the men's personalities and the aftermath of, of, of their lives after they came back to uh, Earth and what they experienced and so forth. Very interesting read. Uh, won't spoil it all. Of course, this is, everybody knows about this event, but it's a nice, nice book to get a little more, bit more detail about the, the very momentous uh, and historic event. Again, this is Rocket Men uh, by Craig Nelson. You can check it out at the library.